I want to officially interrupt this simulation of the third dimension and bring you a very important message from the fifth and sixth dimension. That's right. I decided to jump online because I am hearing and seeing so many things happening all over the world. And it is exactly what we talked about what was going to happen. The implosion of the third dimension. Some of you are viewing it through the eyes of war. Some of you are still stuck. Some of you are still fighting against you know, the legal system and the money system, and you're running and chasing, you know, hurry up and wait with your time. There's still conflict in your families. There's still issues in your bodies. And we are, are moving into the time now that this was really a choice. I know you've been training for this boot camp for a very long time, especially the last 12 years. And over the last 12 years, we call this the walk with the shadow of death walk, which was basically your final boot camp to move you into alignment with who you really are. We've known for a really long time, those of us who have been on this journey, that we have a higher self, we have a lower self, and we have a middle self. In our words, we call me, myself, and I, my ego, my body, my I am. And we also have the mind, body, soul culture. We've got the idea of, you know, all of the different aspects of ourselves. And really what it comes down to right now is I want to really give you an opportunity to pause your reality and take stock about how you are thinking, feeling, and showing up right now. Because the thinking mind is going to entrap you into your third dimensional matrix, guys. This is the opportunity for you to re-embody your higher self into this physical vessel and act from a state of intention and GPS of your true, true intuition. It is no longer about thinking your way into solutions. It is no longer about feeling your way into solutions. It is about knowing that you are the solution. It is about knowing yourself. It is about that real truth of resonance. When you hear someone say, I create my own reality and your gut just knows that's the truth. When you spent hours in meditation and you connected with the divine energetic matrix of God, when you have seen through your sixth sense and felt and dreamed of what is right around the corner or right within you. The reason why I want to interrupt and pause the simulation is because I am watching something very sad from that perspective unfolding. And what is sad is that our spiritual community is engaging in a third dimensional reality as if they can change a third dimensional reality. We believe that because we have taken these classes and certifications and we are practiced healers and teachers and prophets and dreamers and entrepreneurs and saviors and rescuers and mothers and fathers, that we somehow can change what is happening in the third dimensional reality. Well, Socrates says that you cannot change what is going on. If you want change, you've got to create a new one. So the truth about 5D, guys, is that you cannot medicate your way there and you cannot meditate your way there. The way that you're going to quantum leap the rest of your fourth dimensional walk is through mediation, which means that time is the constant in the third dimensional. Running out of time, wasting time, hurry up and wait. That is the simulation. In 5D, it's more about space, all right? You're going to use a lot of space in 5D to choose your own reality. Choose your virtual settings from all that you have become. Alchemy, all of me. The walk is the fourth dimensional pace that is going to embody, remind, and basically permeate you with all of your woundings as if you were returning back to the scene of each one of your traumas, back to the scene of each one of your crimes, back to the scene of all of your pain, not from a reset point but to remember who you were when you lost and abandoned and rejected yourself for the third dimensional reality. So every time you engage into a video game that is predestined, which is set up as a game of separation, it is set up as a game of 10 steps forward, 10 steps back. 
It is based in time. It is based in money. It is based in control. It is based in separation as far as separating you from all that you are. That is the third dimensional simulation. You knew you would embody here to go through your first initial boot camp so that you may discern and decide and choose from a material space that is using time and space to occupy your highest desire. Who you really are is your highest desire, not what you want. Your truest desires are about expressing what is in the inside of you, not manifesting what you want on the outside. The pain you feel of heartbreak or separation or rejection or abandonment is never, ever coming from anyone else. But in that initial trauma, having to separate from yourself is the true trauma. Having to give up yourself for something else that you believe is right, is, is love, is true connection, and all you're doing is attaching to something in the third, third reality and basically unattaching and disconnecting from yourself. And when you do that, you leave parts of yourself abandoned on this highway, on this trip. And what happens is as you're starting to try to rush through the threshold point of the new world and create a new reality, you're seeming to go in a circle where you're meeting aspects of yourself that have been abandoned along the way. Your job here is to collect and integrate all of them because alchemy is all of me. And it's about moving into the time of magic and miracles, not separate, not money and materialism, but creating a true destiny out of your soul's desire is what you came to do. But you knew that having everything from a spiritual place, you were going to have to learn discernment. You were going to have to learn separation. You were going to have to embody this story so that you would have a premise of a character that you could create through this. But a lot of us have gotten lost in this story and begin to participate with this story as if you could fix a movie that's playing on your movie screen. As you sit on your couch, you cannot change what's happening on the movie screen. You cannot talk to the actors, even though you yell at them. You can cry with them. You can laugh with them. You can be upset with them. You can be scared with them. But you cannot change what is happening on a movie that you are watching. And therefore, you cannot change third dimension from interacting with it. So what happens when you get too scared and you're watching a movie? You pause. You create space. You're going to need space where you're going. Space is where you're going to travel to the higher dimensions and take hold of the true alchemist that you are becoming. It is going to be in the space that you're going to find all of your security, your safety, your inner knowing, your inner gut, your inner wisdom that is not blocked by the story that you have witnessed, told, and embodied throughout your life. The story you're living is a byproduct of, of just what the simulation has made you to become. It is not who you are at all. You're constantly fighting against it anyway. So is it really you? There might be aspects of you that love to engage into the drama and fight for justice. But if you pull apart that word, just us, there is no one else but you in that simulation. You are on the couch fighting with a movie. You're going to get yourself all worked up. And because your body doesn't know the difference between imagination and real, your body is going to have a hormonal storm that is going to put you into an accelerated space of aging. And it's going to put you into a beta space. Higher self cannot be in a body that is a beta. Beta is defense. Beta is fear. Beta is anger. Beta is, is you know, discernment as far as what is happening versus the circumstances must be real. And when you are engaged and you are intoxicated by the third dimensional reality as if it's real, what you are having to do in that moment is separate further from yourself because higher self is not a match to drama. It is not a match to humiliation. It is not a match to anger. It is not a match to fear. It is not a match to resentment. And it sure as hell is not a match to guilt and shame. So when you're experiencing this, right? Your spirit has to take a step out, which means you're creating separation in yourself to interact with the story. Biologically, what you're doing is you're creating a hormonal storm that further 
rips apart the physical body through an acidic overdose of adrenalized fear and anger. The body does not know that it's not happening because inside of you, you are having the feeling through your eyes that it is happening, but your eyes are a filtration system of your current and past belief systems. Your eyes are going to see what you've always seen or what you deep, 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 deep down believe that don't want to believe, but still see. Because you are vibrating three very unique frequencies that law of attraction respond all to in the form of an algorithm, which means just like the things you watch on Facebook, you're going to see more of. The people you don't really follow anymore don't even pop up on your page because you're like, it's neutral. And you're going, oh, hey, I haven't seen so-and-so for a long time. And you have to actually go search that person because all the drama is hitting your screen because the algorithm is what you're paying attention to. And fear is something that grabs humans' attention. And love is something that humans want. But the truth of it is, is fear is so far away from the vibrational alignment of your higher self that your higher self cannot participate in that experience. It literally takes a step out as you step in. And when you step in, you now believe that you are the character in the movie and you are being attacked and you are being rejected and you are being ghosted and you are being judged and you want to either fight against it or you want to move into asking for help and you cannot change ice into steam without creating water. Therefore, the space between third dimensional reality and fifth dimensional reality choice and no choice is space. We call this the fourth dimensional walk. And as you're walking, you're remembering, you're clearing up your own karma of abandoning yourself. You're picking yourself back up over and over again, your four-year-old self, your five-year-old self, your 100,000-year-old self. You're picking yourself up every time you choose you, you, inverse, your story the way you choose it to be. When we put on a virtual reality device, the brain believes the simulation is real. You have all the same hormone responses. You have all the same thoughts as if you were there, but there's a knowing in the back of your mind. I'm not really happening, but my body is going into, you know, fight, flight, freeze, or fawn here. And therefore, if I, my body is responding as if the circumstances are real by just what I'm listening to and witnessing, my body is going to react instead of respond. Therefore, the knowing that I have the goggles and I'm not actually walking a plank right now is that I can take this off and I can take a breath. Breath means spirit in every other language except English. And therefore, taking a pause and taking a breath is going to be your only hope right now. Engaging is an intoxication because when your hormones are activated, it feels real. It feels alive. You may not know this, but your human brain loves drama just the way it loves love because drama makes you feel alive. It makes you feel fast. It makes you feel furious. And love makes you feel engaged and an ecstasy. The brain doesn't care which one you choose. It wants to feel alive. It's the chemical rush of the, you know, the heroin effect. Let's go high and then go low. And what you're doing is when you engage in third dimensional re reality, you believe that you're coming to some sort of solution, but you can't create a solution in a movie that's already written. You cannot change the movie inside the movie. You can never change the circumstances in the circumstances. You have to change the viewer. You have to change the seer, the knower, the feeler, the embodied you has to change if the simulation is gonna change. And you cannot do that when your biological system is activated as if it believes it's true. You have to deactivate your hormones. And if you do not per and on purpose pause, you'll just burn through your cortisol and you'll go to your favorite three dopamines, people, a place, or a thing that makes you feel comforted, 
the venting to your sister for five hours, the chocolate chip cookies, the listening to the YouTube videos of your favorite guru, the picking up the book, right? The yelling at someone. These are all forms of dopamine that you're using to now calm your system down because your cannabinoid receptors are completely fried out probably by the age of seven. And that's what electromagnetic energy does is it destroys your cannabinoid system so that you don't have that, hey, everything's going to be okay voice in your head. You just have the doomsday until you wake up. And then what you do to make everything feel okay is you meditate. I just said earlier, meditation will not get you to the fifth dimension. It won't. It actually, spiritual community is getting you further away. And let me explain. The reason why it's getting you further away is because when you go into a realm of gamma from a breath or from a, a visual space, you are going into a place that your biological ego or the lower self cannot go. You think because you're breathing that your body is experiencing this high. It is experiencing the residue of the chemical reaction of the spirit being in source energy. But the body is too low in density and has an orbit that literally orbits its frequency down here. So when we use escapism to go into meditation, then what we are doing is we are creating one more rejection and one more abandonment of the inner child that's trapped in here in trauma that doesn't know that you're back at home with God. It knows that it feels like it just got a cookie because mom's gone again. It just got it feels all warm, but it doesn't know why. It does not have the experience because a low frequency cannot go into a high frequency unless it's a match, which means the pain that's in your biological body has to be purged, purified, and mediated, which means that the quantum fitness program that I have created is literally the biohack for teleportation. It is about getting in the body and creating space creating space for the light photonic energy of the higher self to wiggle in here and become the actual archetype instead of sitting on the couch watching you act out your movie, it embodies, which means that it takes full responsibility of all of its trauma, all of its belief systems, all of its awarenesses, and it puts itself back together like a mosaic, like stained glass, and it starts to interact with its true DNA, its true chakra system in a way of alignment and balance. So mediation is literally the opportunity for you to take a pause from your virtual reality and go into a place for you to recalibrate first your hormonal system and secondly, your true awareness of self. You do not know who you are when you're angry, afraid, guilted, shamed, uh, stressed, humiliated, resentful, because you are literally asleep if you look at frequency. Anything above boredom is awoke to enlightenment. Anything below boredom starts to put you into a slumber where you're interacting with the game as if it's real. That fight you had for six hours wasn't real. It was a story that's playing over and over in a loop from a same original wound of rejection and abandonment from the past that now you've simulated in another person in another place because it has not reconciled within the biofield and the cellular memory and the muscle memory is now projecting with its own blood, that means spirit, as its own electromagnetic field so that you can play out the same game in a different time. Guys, you'll never win against circumstances. Where you're going to win is you're going to mediate this. You're going to practice this pause. You're going to go in and find the alchemist that is not in the game, but the code writer of a game itself. And when you are the code writer, you'll feel safe re-engaging in the game because you'll have a completely different universe surrounding you. You came here to walk in the image of the Christ, which means you hold the Christ consciousness. If you're can't fit in anywhere and you're the black sheep of the black sheep of the black sheep you hold the christ consciousness deep into your heart's desire a kindness a loving sense of unity resides within you and if you do not access that that kindness will be taken as weakness and you will be physically imploded and destroyed in the third dimensional reality and go back into that time loop to play out that reawakening game that 
third dimension is getting ready to experience or all the work you've done can finally pay off for you and you can finish your last few steps of this walk. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to stop engaging in a third dimensional reality. You're going to remember, remind yourself from a place of deactivated hormonal response who the hell you are. You're going to choose your own hormones from the pharmacy of your own brain. You're going to see something else. You're going to feel something else. You're going to experience something else. You're going to decide something else, intend something else, and then you're going to take inspired action before you walk back into that game. Because if you do not deactivate those hormones, those hormones are going to tell you who you are. Jess, my hormones are out of control. No, you're in the game. You're going to kill yourself from overstimulation and overstress and overthinking in the third dimensional reality because you can't think a broken system. You can't outthink a virtual reality that's already playing out as if it was on loop and recorded 100 years ago. You've got to create something new, neutrality, new to my reality. All right. So when you watch a movie on the screen and you start to feel the anticipation music, your body starts to respond to the scene that's coming next because it's telling you where the scene is going. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm, I need to be scared here. Your body anticipates through sound and vibration who and what you are. Therefore, guys, your hormones are an orchestra inside of you, creating the soundtrack of your story that make it feel real. Try watching a movie without the sound. Turn it down and watch a horror movie. You'll be like, what? This is ridiculous. Turn it up and you will be involved. Sound involves you. Frequency becomes you. It's influential, which means you walk through cigarette smoke. It's getting on you, even if you don't agree with it. So if you're going to be in virtual reality and try to fight the system because you feel that you are the Christ consciousness and you are the second coming and you are a spiritual being and you're trapped here in hell, you're playing the wrong game. You came to be a creator, right? You did not come to fight against anything. You came here to decide and choose and discern, intend and become. Your state of being determines your reality, not who you believe you are. The universe is responding to your algorithm. And there's parts of you who don't believe in you. There's parts of you that are still sick and broke and worried. And those parts are vibrating as a match to the simulation that keeps you stuck and influenced. So I have created a meditation. It is basically called the trigger point meditation. And it is designed to use any time you get triggered. Now, when you get triggered, you think it's all about rage or anger or, you know, road rage or a fight with your friend or getting abandoned or getting ghosted or getting let down or getting betrayed. But let me inform you that vibration is vibration and the smallest irritation is the same frequency as rage. It's just further away from you. Okay, the sicker your body is, the further you are away from you. The, the little subtle irritations are just the fractal consciousness now that have become unconscious. They're not subconscious and loud. They are becoming unconscious, which means you have pushed away certain aspects of yourself that do not serve your spiritual life and gone into meditation and abandoned yourself three different ways. Well, guess what? This is the karmic resolve, the shadow of the walk. Okay, the shadow of the, the, the death walk, <laughs> walk through the shadow now, right? Is you reconciling you. This is never about facing hell or the devil. This is about facing the parts of yourself that you abandoned and rejected along the way to be loved, appreciated, respected, admired, accepted. The only one you're ever here to receive is you. And you will keep finding yourself in traumas on this walk in a loop that feels 10 steps forward, 10 steps back until you finally meet yourself in the hallway of the meditation that I've created to deactivate your adrenalized fight, flight, freeze, and fawn hormones, move you out of that cortisol sucking, age accelerating, virtual reality VR, take you into a very nostalgic place where we can, from your brain's own remembrance, formulate new dopamine from outside of the matrix, the dopamine that is going to bring the body back into peace so serotonin can be birthed again in the gut 
and you can then therefore remember who you are. Shoulders back, posture is important. This, your gate closes, your serotonin becomes nothing. You cannot access the field, you access the matrix. Open up your, your posture, you've opened up your gate, you've opened up your flow. Now the energy can move, your kundalini can be expressed through your base of your spine and you need to get the hell out. 3D, completely, without resistance, following the trail of the dopamine that I've created for you to re-stimulate the body out of the matrix with adrenaline and into the field of potential where I'm gonna take you with all fun new dopamines that are based in your five senses because we need to engage the body outside of the story. The body is engaged in the story. We've got to engage the body here. We are not meditating. We are mediating. We are creating a space. My final words for you here, and this has been my affirmation for years now, is the word impossible is what our life feels like right now. But if you put a space between I am impossible, you get miracles. I am possible. The only place you will truly ever be, I am possible, is here. In the space between the world that you've created and this world that you're dreaming of is called the void, the zero point energy field where all of your magic and your miracles reside. And you will have to become the alchemist through your alchemy, finding all of me in order for you to access the divine field of the matrix, which is the field of potential. And it exists exactly the same as your virtual reality, except it's a choose your own adventure from a place of heart's desire instead of belief systems, pain, trauma, and memory. It is a much better place because you knew with the Christ at heart that you were coming into hell to build heaven out of yourself. This was your gift to humanity, to build heaven and be the example. After you have integrated your own walk of alchemy into the alchemist, your job was then to show others how it was done. If you're engaging in the third dimensional matrix through your hormonal response system, you're not much help to humanity because fear is fear. So if you are afraid of the war, you're on the same team as the war. If you are fighting against the system, you are fighting, which is a vibrational match to fight. Remember, alchemy is just us. You want your justice, you have to exit the field of the matrix and you have to reground your hormones. It's all about hormones, guys. This is what my quantum fitness program is about. It's not about six pack apps. It's about you biohacking your own soundtrack so that you can start feeling the story the way you want to feel it because your feelings are lying to you. Your excitement is your addiction response to the dopamine of your favorite choice. The guy, the shopping, the thing, the next idea, the next purchase. You cannot solve a problem in a problem. You cannot find your guru in hell. You find your guru when you took a pause and you hit rock bottom in the space accidentally. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it intentionally. It's going to take less than 25 minutes for you to get through this experience that is going to biohack every cell in your body and teach you how to access the pharmacy of your own brain so that you can change from adrenaline to dopamine in about four or five seconds flat if you choose. Once you have the dopamine outside of the field, now you're going to feel relaxed satisfied. Now we can activate serotonin, which is peace and safety, and we'll re-enter this matrix telling a new story with a new orbit, with a new intention, with new eyes, with new senses. We begin to create a new life for ourselves that is in the flow of our higher self because now our higher self can fit in this body because it is not associated with pain and fight and stress and worry. As long as that is your vibration, higher self will have to remain outside of you. This is the embodiment of the Christ era, which means time to get your spirit in. And if it doesn't fit, you have to let go of the weight of the stories and the memories of who you've been. If you want to become someone new, you have to let go of the old. This is not abandonment of your virtual reality. It is basically pushing the pause, standing up and going, oh, this isn't real. Just like you when you wake up from a dream and have to actually recollect yourself because it's a nightmare. 
this simulation was a hard pressured boot camp for you to learn choice, discernment, and compassion. You were never supposed to live here. This is a training boot camp. You were supposed to exit this space, decide, discern, choose, intend, and become in your next field of consciousness. And through the byproduct of living that example and walking as the walk of Christ, then therefore you may show the way, not by putting your hands on people inside the matrix, by but showing them the life that you're able to create as the alchemist. Demonstrating. I'm getting ready to open up quantum apothecaries all over the planet, and they're all designed in the mediation. We are not meditating here. We are mediating. We are microdosing essential ancient medicine, and we are microdosing very cosmic futuristic technology. We are down below in our first floor going to be ancient apothecary of infusions, tinctures, mixtures. Everything will be infused, which means nothing will be a standalone. You will not have coffee here. You will drink life water. You will not have an espresso. You will have liquid courage. You will not take a tincture. You will ingest love potion number nine. Because we have pulled from this field of the matrix all of our ancient shamanic medicines, all of our aboriginal technologies, all of our, our literal American Indian, ancient Indians, first prophecy of this planet where medicine was true, and we are integrating it into the modern coffee house as a full service apothecary where upstairs, if you go to floor three, it gets weird. And that's where the quantum fitness program will be, where we are going to be biohacking from a simulation of getting you in and out of the body, in and out of the body. Everything is about the body getting you in and out, teaching you how to hit that pause automatically instead of engage automatically. We're going to purify all of the stories in your cellular memory. We're going to open up the pharmacy of your brain so that you can pull medicine direct from your brain to your body instantly through command intention. We're going to basically be a, teaching you how to quantum leap into your new reality with the space suit that you chose. It's going to look very different by the time you are ready to ascend because it will match how your higher self feels. We're going to let go of the weight. We're going to let go of the weight, which means you're not waiting. We're posturing, we're practicing, we're preparing, and we're playing for our next simulation where you're going to want to be in better shape because it's a lot more fun. You're going to have a better stamina because there's a lot more to do. You're going to want to have better vision because there's a lot more money. It may not look the same as you have, but upstairs where we have past, present, and future treatment rooms that are all designed in creating the elimination of the past, moving into the artistic space, creative imagination of the present moment, and moving into our future of technology with all of our quantum technology in room three, which is the future, will fully integrate you. These will be opening up all over the planet. We are going to be cross-pollinating because there is one thing that you're going to understand is the sixth dimension is the symbol of the bumblebee, the bee itself. We're gonna be using a lot of its technology. We're gonna be pulling from its vibration and it is going to be the access point from 5D to 6D. So you will be able to see my first ever new skincare line that is all designed around the bee and not just honey. So you're going to be very excited to see this. They're going to be popping up everywhere. I'm training practitioners all over the world right now. And the first one ever will be in Kansas City, where I am, the heart chakra of the United States, holding it down. And, and we are going live. We're able, we're able to go in an 1880 original building that literally looked like it was waiting for apothecary to basically materialize. The perfect place for an alchemist. So, Enjoy this meditation. I've pulled it from our alchemy masterclass. This meditation that you have access to is going to help you embody yourself, all right? This is going to be the pause. It's going to be the interrupt of your game. It's gonna be someone tapping on your shoulder and going, you know, this movie's not real. Why don't you come to the kitchen and let's go talk over here. And when we're in the kitchen, I'm gonna give you a little something over here and it's gonna make you feel different, okay? Because all we need to do here is mediate. All right, so enjoy this. The proceeds from this meditation are gonna to go to fund these alchemy centers all around the world so that we can teach and remind and remember who the hell we are and start getting deliberate about being creators in this realm at this time in history 
and be able to be a way shower and a guide for others that have lost their way and cannot find truth. All right. Enjoy. I will see you either online in school in a Mal alchemy masterclass on quantum fitness program or in my studios. If you're interested in one of these, please reach out to me. All right. Okay, guys, enjoy.